He comes from San Jose, California. He is the front man and songwriter for the Crimson Blues Band. His main focus is Christian blues rock with strong influences in Delta Blues and Mississippi Hill Country Blues. He has two solo albums. And the, the Crimson Blues Band has a studio album as well as several live concert albums. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one, the only, Mississippi Slide himself, Mark Jaggers. Mark, as always, so good to see you. How are you doing? I am doing quite well. I'm blessed. How about you, sir? Well, I'm doing okay over here. I've got my iced tea, the fans running, and behind me, if you can see, the lava lamp is operating pretty well. So, All good so things. Everything, everything I go. need to function is here. There you go. And you got some good blues. Uh, what you been working on lately there, Mark? Well, um, I've actually been working on something different from blues in, in the recent couple of months. Um, I've been working on a recording project called Retro, which is basically I'm gathering a lot of the old, old school, earlier in my life influences. And this includes a variety of things. It includes some blues, which is like very old gospel blues from long, long ago. Um, but it also includes some tunes from my parents' era. And it includes a lot of the sort of acoustic worship ballads that me and my buddy did back in our college days, me and my friends. And those songs, you know, those songs got put on a shelf and were never recorded, never performed for a very long time. And, um, you know, it was finally time to, to get them recorded. So been doing that kind of thing. And we are definitely glad that they are. Uh, we ended Night of Hope tonight, of course, with a great blues that song that we are so glad to feature anytime we can, any excuse we can oh, to yeah. feature it on our program. Yeah. We're so grateful for that. Uh, you've got about five different bluesy tunes to share tonight. Well, uh, what is song is, one, good sir? Well, so, so, some are bluesy, but there's a couple other things I'm changing up. Um, one Ooh, of them. All right. Uh, one of them is um, actually one of the retro tunes I was just talking about. This is a recent recording uh, that I just did. There was a song that me and one of my um, Christian guitar buddies um, sort of cobbled together, sitting around. We were looking at Psalms 149, and and wanted to jam and put it to an upbeat tune. And and this is what we came up with. So this is the first one I'm going to start with. Let's do it. Mark Jagers here on the Friday night edition of Red's Room. Here we go. Glory, 
They're singing to the Lord a new classic song. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that worked out. Huh? <laughs> oh, that was great, man. That was a oh, thank I'm, you, I'm man. Thank like you. I'm not stuck in my head there for a little while. Singing to the Lord yeah. a new song. I'm loving that. Yeah. Uh, reminder well, of what dug... he's doing in our lives. Yeah, always, well, always dug that song, you know, because it was catchy tune. You know. So, so there you go. Uh, and um, Brad Marsh hanging out in here. Amen. God is good. Um, Poppy I Keith, see him. of the Blues. David Larry Carroll, hands raised in praise. Indeed. Love it, says David Larry. Amen to that. We mentioned a lot of your bluesy influences. So who, who are your top two or three that you've drawn from since we've been talking about influences a lot tonight? Well... Muddy Waters is really important because he, he's, mm -hmm. he, it's a long story, but he was very instrumental in the fact that I figured out that I could do bottleneck slide and that just opened all the doors for me to do a lot of stuff. Um, another one, um, there's a North Mississippi All-Stars. They are a fantastic Mississippi Hill Country group and I could talk hours about them, but I'll just tell you this, they're a secular group, but they do a lot of gospel blues too, which is really cool. And yes, and you're right, Brad. And don't forget R.L. Burnside because the North Mississippi All Stars guys literally lived down the road from R.L. Burnside. <laughs> so, anyway. Oh, yeah. That's so, and then, oh, actually, uh, also Glenn Kaiser for Christian Blues. You know, he was part of the uh, Arena yeah. Christian Rock yeah. uh, crowd back in the day. And then he went off solo and went back to his blues roots, and it's fantastic stuff. Good old Glenn. Oh, yes, indeed. Yeah. You can't leave out Glenn, Glenn when you're talking about Christian blues. That's for darn sure. Right. Uh, Mark right. Jaggers is That's with right. us. Uh, what's the second tune you got for us, sir? Well, let's see. Well, I do believe. Yeah. So, this is a tune. It's actually one of the band's older tunes, but it's on our our studio album. Do I got a copy of it here? I think I do. Uh, yeah. The camera's too far away, but there's a studio album called Tiki. A Tiki, named after the Tiki recording studio where we did that album at um, with a, one, a wonderful Christian couple who ran the studio, ran and owned it. And this is a song called Come On Home. It's kind of a, it's your typical bluesy altar call song. It says, you know, look, your life is a train wreck. Just admit it and come on home. You know, like the prodigal son kind of thing. 
couldn't put it any more so, blunt basic than that, right? Yeah, pretty much. Let's see, that is going, right? It's going. Yeah. So here we go. Let's give this a try. peace in him just come on home and i tell you what yeah and if you are into christian blue this is the right place for you as we wrap a friday night right here on red's room oh everybody's just well that's good to know (laughs) 
And um, I'll tell you what as well. Um, <laughs> uh, David, Larry Carroll says, amen times 10 <laughs> and then some. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm kind of <laughs> cheating. I see... I, I can see the comments on the phone in front of me here. I'm cheating a little bit. Please, Lisa goes, not as turn and burn as you made it sound, Mark. <laughs> well, I didn't really eh, I didn't really mean to say it was turn and burn, but it's definitely an altar call. That's, you know. There you go. Great message, yeah. great tone, says Brad. Love this, Mark. Yeah. Melody Stevens says, now we're cooking with fuel. We're cooking with gas. Yeah, you know, you know, yes, you, you know who that is. That's my older sister. Uh, hello, Melody. Nice to see you. Got a she's, very talented uh, she's, brother you got there. She's checking in from uh, Arizona. Indeed. Happy We're to have her with us today. tonight. Now, yeah. uh, rain, you said? Well, yeah, yeah. She was uh, mentioned earlier today that it was raining up there. So I was what, hoping what is they could that? send us a little bit. We have had no rain. For well, you know, rain, it, that's a liquid's... It's water Even Arizona's that falls getting from our overhead. Rain rain? What, is, what is with this? Yeah, go figure. Ay, ay, ay. Go figure. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, 10 days, next 10 days of 70 to 80 degree weather. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right, I'm not gonna, right. I'll take it as long as we have well, it. Don't get me wrong. But that's right. um, yeah, it, totally. it was weird to go boating in October. I, I tell you that. Thing. It was it was weird today. Um yeah. I guess so. Now, and the other thing, you you not only do music, but you also host this very program on occasion. Is there a certain hat that you enjoy one or the other, or do you, do you enjoy hosting just as much as you do I, performing these days? Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's, it's really wonderful to get to play, you know. Um, but when you host, there's so much less preparation. I can just walk in there and sit down and read the bios for a little bit, and I'm ready to go, you know. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so that 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 it, it's the hosting is easier but you know obviously getting to play music is very rewarding yes it is and you're very good at you that know, it's a blessing let's continue to, thank you let's continue to let you do what you do best there mark uh, what's the Alrighty. next song you got for us to share tonight okay so this is a newer song this is not on the studio album because uh, i wrote this after the studio album um but luckily i've got backing tracks even though we don't have a studio recording because i took a live recording that turned out really good and i zapped out the vocals and took them out so this next song it's kind of a sort of a punchy delta blues song and it's called take me to the fountain mm -hmm. so i hope you dig it
together and mark diggers is bringing the rock let me tell you uh lisa says mark you're just as powerful sitting down playing alone as in you're standing up playing with the full band you know, nathaniel says very yeah. good well, well, thank you fun, mark oh good stuff uh what's the next couple months have in store for you you uh, still at work on that retro project and you got a few more things up the, up the up your sleeve up the pipeline what's Bruh. keeping you busy well, probably just, you know, probably just the retro stuff, you know. It's been one of those years where it's just kind of hard to work on creative things, so. Um, but, I, but I'm but i still getting some progress on the retro, so. You know, it's, it's kind of a bucket list thing, so I want to get that done. How far are you uh, um, along in that particular project? Uh? Um, I think I'm probably getting pretty close. A couple more songs, and then I sort of decide how I want to sequence them. It'll be, you know, the the album would would be sort of broken up into little concept sections, like one section which is a suite of songs, which are the old acoustic worship stuff from college days, and then a suite of songs that are um, um, like the old, really old gospel blues stuff from my roots, and maybe uh, no, Brad, not no banjo, and then another collection of tunes which are kind of. Oh, how do you put them? Like country gospel bl- songs that are, they have to do with pain, you know, that, that life hurts and, you know, you know, yeah. how do you get help when life is hurting? You know, so there's some songs like that, so, you know, probably group them into a bundle. So it'll almost be like a several small little con- concept mini albums together in one package. That's probably how it'll turn out. Love that. But we'll see. No banjo brat. <laughs> Yes, yes. I'm sorry, dude. You want a ba- you want banjo? You're gonna have to p- learn to play it yourself. He, he probably could. You know, probably. He's pretty good. Y- y'all, f- for those who don't know, Brad was a founding member in Crimson Blues, and and a big part of the shape of the band uh, in our sound and our music. Uh, he contributed a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. David, maybe Kazoo, but I'm I'm gonna have to think about it. Maybe. <laughs> We'll, we'll talk about his instrument in selection here in just a moment uh, before we hit our last yeah. song. But uh, what you got next here for us, Mark? Well, I've got one more electric tune, and then i got the acoustic uh, gospel thing I want to close out with after that. So. Sounds um, good. This, this electric tune here. So this is one of my early songs that I wrote actually even before, um, before um, Crimson Blues even started. This song was actually inspired by this very guitar here. So many years ago, back when life was simpler, um, me and the missus were um, away on a um, 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 an anniversary getaway to South Lake Tahoe. And I went and was walking by and looked in a pawn shop window and I saw this guitar hanging in that pawn shop window. And uh, being very gracious as she was, she said, would you like that for your anniversary present? I said, yeah. <laughs> And so, fast forward um, a week, about a week later, I'm sitting in the bedroom just noodling with this thing, just being amazed by how it sounds. And this, the groove of the sound um, um, inspired this next song. This next song, it's basically sort of a reference back to the very old blues um, um, urban legends from 100 years ago. Back in the early days, a hundred years ago, when when blues was first being developed, people would have rumors and um, and you know sort of fake legends about how a blues man would go out at midnight to a crossroad outside of town and he would make a deal with the devil where he'd sell his soul to get guitar playing skill and fame and fortune as a blues musician. Um, and the actually the grandfather of modern blues Robert Johnson back in that era that was the rumor that was said about him um, and it, 
supposedly. But, you know, obviously it was, you know, just an old legend. But the legend has a powerful allegory because, in a way, that's kind of what all of us do. You know, we all went out to a crossroad at some point and we made a deal that we shouldn't have made and we weren't sure how to get out of it and we needed a redeemer uh, to come to our rescue. So that's, that's kind of the metaphor of the song. And it's called, Went Down to the Crossroad. Jaggers, Friends and Blues band right here. On Red's Room on this Friday night, one more song to go before we hit the after party and start this coming up tomorrow. Uh, we're, we're talking about instruments here in a second. Great song, classic, says Brad. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Brad. He's been playing that song with me for over 10 years, you know. 
Well, he says, when Charlie Daniels was saved and talked about Devil went down to Georgia in his post years, he talked about that legend. Yeah. Uh, Brad says, that it, Tella is a beauty. I believe that is your number one Crimson Blues guitar. Would you agree with that statement from Brad there? I would. I use it pretty heavily. It's go-to for a lot of things. There you go. Uh, yeah. Dave is saying, so, Electrify uh, Kazoo, yeah. good old Red. He says, I think he needs cowbell um melody your sister says i have a didgeridoo um <laughs> she does she does she you does know, you know that's the one that goes wow 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 yeah yeah i'll be darn now you i remember you time you did... play a bunch of instruments but you have a penchant of sorts for homemade instruments as well what is probably among your favorite homemade instruments that you just love to play and crack out of it once in a while well i'm torn between uh the diddly bow <coughs> which is a flat wooden plank <coughs> with a guitar string <coughs> sorry stretched over <coughs> a bottle and you and that, that's literally that's an old kind of instrument that was part of old blues history and you play one string notes with a slide um because it's so different that it really catches people's eyes. But real, I think probably the most favorite one is the soup can guitar. Uh -huh. Because I've got a, uh, I have not only the regular electric pickup in, on the front to play it like an electric guitar, but I also have a piezoelectric pickup hidden inside, which works like a really trashy microphone. So I can twist a knob and I think I can then shout into the soup can. You know, and you hear this distorted voice come out, so... You know, then you know nobody expects that. So, I, I love seeing that thing. So I, I, I like I like to use novelty to compensate for you know the talent I might not have. Yeah. So. I, I think you've got plenty of both novelty and talent, sir. Oh. I must say. You, you... Well, I appreciate that, but, but... <laughs> you do. But I'll tell you this one thing. I, I'll tell you this one thing. In reality, the kind of traditional fingering like this that lead guitarists do. I do not have the motor skills to do one bit of that. That's why I pretend depend on people like Brad, you know, to be the second guitarist in the band. And that's part of why I learned Bottleneck Slide, because it gave me an alternate skill for soloing and doing stuff that I couldn't, uh, or that nobody else is able to do. But I was able to do that. So, you know, go figure. See, I, I love that. And I love how the Lord just gives us the ability to exercise our gifts. And when we yeah. can't do one thing a traditional yeah. way, he just shows us how to how to uniquely make it our own gift in a different way. And uh, I, I love your style of playing there too, Mark. It's a pleasure having you here on the oh, show. Well, um, th thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, now you've got, you mentioned our final song of the evening tonight, which you have the dubious distinction of doing is a bit of an acoustic number. Isn't it, sir? Yes. This is basically a, very old gospel hymn from 125 years ago, roughly, written by a guy named Just Judson Van Deventer. Um, this is a song. This is I, I remember this song all the time as a kid, you know, because it would always be the altar call song in the little Southern Baptist church I grew up in. And um, the song also, it, it's kind of speaking to me lately. Um, but, you know, because I won't get into the details, but it's been a really um, it's been a really um, challenging year for our family. And 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 God has been requiring me to really lean on him uh, for help in ways that I never have had to lean on before. And one of the things that he's been teaching me, you know, and, and funny things will happen over and over and over where God's given me this reminder again and again and again, which is you know, he's basically saying, look, Mark. You've got to surrender stuff. And I, okay, well, I'll surrender this couple of things. Said, no, no, no. you got to surrender everything, everything. And that is so scary. That's so, you know, but it's what i got to do, you know. And what's the alternative? Shake your fist and be mad at them, and, you know, that won't accomplish anything. So, um, <clears throat> so it's something that God's been working on with me is the need to surrender uh, everything, absolutely everything. And this song is called I Surrender All. Maybe some of you who grew up in uh, Old Southern Baptist churches might remember this. All to Jesus I surrender All to Him I freely give I will him in his presence daily live 
blessed Savior, I surrender all. All to Jesus I surrender when I'm helpless and afraid I will trust his restoration he can rescue he can save and anyone who knows the song sing this with me I surrender all I surrender all all Blessed Savior, I surrender all. One more, one more time, join me. I surrender all. I surrender all. Blessed Savior I surrender all Ooh, I surrender Mm -hmm. Hey man, I don't care what he says. Amen. Man of many talents Lord, there. Lord Mark make Dicker. it so. Man, oh man. Does it all. Does the bluesy stuff. Rocks the house down and then can just touch her and reach into your heart with a ballad like that. My word. Elizabeth says, I'm singing along and I love oh. this song. What a great song to end on Red's Room tonight. She says, my heart needed that song. Thank you. She says. Well, but, you know, it, it's what all of us need to do, isn't it? It is. It is. Am I right? right? I, I mean, here, here's yeah. the thing. We all we all like to think, okay, you know, I'm good with God. You know, I'm doing my little thing every day. And, and you know, um, but there's always something, some additional thing that we're still hanging on to. And he wants us to surrender that thing. And, you, you know, his spirit can just really move um, when we yeah. let it go. And he's just Amen. been, he's really been poking yeah. at me saying, look, man, you want me to move? You got to let everything go. You got to let it go. So, you know, there you go. David, Larry, Carroll, awesome is our God. Um, same thing as Brad Marsh says, praise your Lord. Now, you're, <laughs> before we let you go, your, your sister says something yes. interesting in the comments a minute ago. She says you can also, among yeah. many talents, you can make a mean sushi. Is that true? Yeah, I, I learned way back about 20, a little over 20 years ago, I was sitting in a sushi bar. It's back when I'd first discovered it, you know, and discovered that I liked it. And looking over the counter and thinking, well, I wonder if I could do that. I could probably do that. So I've, so I've, so for many years, I've used people as guinea pigs and every now and then. We, we haven't done it lately because it's been, you know, tough to organize it the last few years. But we would do really big sushi parties and I'd get some friends to help me and we'd make massive amount of sushi you know man lord willing someday we'll uh, be able to do that again we'll see man <laughs> i am there for it <laughs> oh yes indeed yeah. mark always such a pleasure man uh tell us where we can uh, connect up with you find more about crimson blues band and stay in touch with you well well there's a website crimsonbluesband.com all one word on YouTube, you can search for us, also Crimson Blues Band, all one word. And on Facebook, we have a group, you know, a Facebook group, which is CrimsonBluesBand.com. Yeah, yeah, Lisa, we make vegetarian sushi, don't worry. Anyway, um, <laughs> just oh. looking at the comments, sorry. Um, <laughs> no, you're good. So, yeah, yeah, on YouTube, yeah, on YouTube, um, Crimson Blues Band, all one word, and 
there's quite a big collection of videos there. Um, and by the way, Joseph, whenever I'm sending you videos, a lot of times there's stuff that's there on, on the YouTube. You know, so you could literally, you could go look through there and, and find something that you want and make a request, you know, next time you need a video. Yes, indeed. I think we played, oh, which one did we play tonight? We played, um, uh, you did, I was sinking, I, I was believe. Thinking. I was sinking, yeah. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. digging that one tonight, and we'll obviously yeah. have a lot more tunes from Crimson Blues Band as we go forward on Nine of Hope as well on CMS. Love featuring your bluesy stylings on our show. Yeah. You know, Ray is a huge fan of the Soup Can guitar song. Uh, <laughs> great stuff there from the live event, of course. Mm. Mark, it's been a pleasure um, with your friendship. Well, it's been a pleasure, support. too. Thank you so much. Not only here being on Red Zoom as a host, but also your musical talents as well. And we thank you for blessing us with all those musical stylings tonight, ending us in a way only you well, can, Mark. Thank you so much, my friend. I, I, I thank you guys. Um, I love getting to do it. Hope someone was blessed. I know I was, brother. Thank you so very much, Mark. Uh, uh, <laughs> there you go. What a great night here on Red Zoom. Special